Thank you for tuning in to Terry Swoop videos. On today's video, I'm gonna do a Where Are They Now on the Canadian beautiful actress, Ray Dong Chong. Now, Ray Dong Chong was very popular in the 1980s. She played in some of the most popular movies during the 1980s. Now, she was born and raised in Canada and her father is the comedian, Tommy Chong. Now, what a lot of people don't realize about her father is that her father is half Chinese and half Scottish. I always thought he was Puerto Rican, but he's not Puerto Rican. He's actually half Chinese and half Scottish. And her mother is a black woman. So she's mixed with three different races. She's mixed with Chinese, she's mixed with Scottish, and she's mixed with black. So she's a multi-racial woman. Her first starring role in a movie came in 1984 when she starred in the cult classic hip hop movie, Beat Street. Beat Street is looked at as the greatest hip hop movie ever made. And I always enjoyed her in this movie. This is one of my favorite movies. In 1985, she played in The Color Purple, where she plays Hoppo's girlfriend after she divorces Sophia. And there's a bar scene where her and Oprah Winfrey get into a fight. That was one of the best scenes in the movie. The Color Purple is one of my favorite movies of all time. In 1985, she also played in Commando with Arnold Schwarzenegger. This movie grossed $40 million at the box office. This is one of the movies that established her as a star in Hollywood. In 1988, she played in Soul Man with C. Thomas Howell. Now, this movie was very controversial because C. Thomas wears blackface in the movie and he pretends to be a black man in the movie. And a lot of black people were upset about this movie. And this is one of the movies that really hurt her career. But she ended up dating C. Thomas and her and C. Thomas end up getting married in 1989. The marriage didn't last. They were only married for a couple of years and they divorced. After the 1980s, her career sizzled off a bit. She played in bit parts throughout the 1990s, but she no longer starred in the movies that she was playing in. She was no longer the leading lady in the movies that she played in. In the 2000s, she went on to write and direct several TV shows and movies. She actually discovered Chris Pratt. She discovered him when he was working at a restaurant as a waiter. And she's the one that started his career. And now he's one of the biggest movie stars in Hollywood, making $30 million per movie. I wonder if he gives her a percentage of his earnings due to the fact that she's the one that started off his career. Today, Ray is 58 years old. She's been divorced three times and now she's single, but she seems like she's happy and she's still writing and doing different things within the entertainment industry. I'm just glad to see that she's still alive and well. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe and turn on your notifications for future videos.